Hey MTG YouTube, this is T1 Glister Elf here with yet another game of uh, Modern. I'm going to be playing on the Untap Open League, and uh, this is what I'm running, Selesnia Bogles. Uh, it's the same deck you saw last time, it's good times all around. Great, fun, interactive magic, running it in honor of TJ Poole, who is not in the hospital anymore, I, I recently learned. Much less recently by the time this video goes up, so good on you, but uh, that's why I'm running this instead of in fact. My opponent is on Young Peasy, a good old Young Pyromancer. So the creatures are Young Pyromancer, Bedlam Reveler is a 4 of, Hazaret the Fervent, and we'll count Lingering Souls as well. Ton of removal, most of which doesn't do anything against good old Bogles. A 2 Blood Moon I do have to worry about, but I'm on the play. And uh, yeah, let's see. So we have a 1 lander. Risk it for the biscuit. I'm going to keep. It's it's not great. I need another land, but I'm going to keep. Do, do what you gotta do. So pay the one. Slippery Bogle. Pass turn. No one could have seen that turn coming. I guess I could have slow rolled with a Glade Cover Scout. It doesn't really make a difference. Not at least as far as I'm aware. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you had kept. Oh, hi. Um, let's see. Reveal? Where's Reveal? There we go. That should do it. Good times. <laughs> Good times. As you do. As you do. Alright. Shoutouts to the, uh, oh, there's the other one. Heck. <laughs> um. I think I, no. Oh. Okay. So, chose Rancor. That is fair enough. When I only have one landed hand, Ethereal Armor has a hard time getting up really quickly. Okay. I mean, take the one, do what you gotta do. Ta-da! Absolutely no one saw that coming. One land hand rip. <laughs> yeah! Also, Mr. J, by the way, uh, nice profile pick. I really need to add mine at some point. Shoutouts to Saitama, shoutouts to One Punch Man. Bring that, well, or I could just sit up straighter. That'd be better. There we go. Yeah, every time I lean forward like that, let me bring the computer a bit closer to me. That's better. No! <laughs> Path me. <laughs> yeah, we're having a good time. We're just having a... Oh, okay. Um... Let me check the list one more time. See, it certainly helps that we can see the other's list. No Lilianas. That is really good to know. I mean, there's Lilian in the sideboard, but that's all. None in the main. That helps a lot, actually. Okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Got there. <laughs> All right. So lines apply. I unless I really think I need to race, I think it's wrong to. Well, let, let's see. If I give them a basic, I say them, I'm pretty sure it's a heat. Um, what do I worry about? I worry about Blood Moon, Swamp. No, I, I don't think I can. I, I think I really need to just suit up the Bogle and say, come at me, bro. 
Protection from creatures means I'll be able to get through his creatures anyway, he doesn't have a way to deal with me once I've established a board, and I may be able to path next turn, plus if he does have a blood moon, then I'll still have an actual board. Somehow I feel a blood moon coming. And I think I can beat a pyro without targets for half your spells. Okay. Well, uh, that's, uh, annoying. <laughs> ah, well, if Blood Moon were the concern, you know, it's not the concern. Unless we're on the Mono Mountain plan. Coligon's command. Two damage, discard a card. Shock you, you discard. Easy. Easy money. Um. Thinking. So I still have to discard. Okay. So what can I do here? Now I can path it, because I'm not worried about the blood moon. And... Let's see. So I, I path the pyro. I'm assuming a lot of these cards are dead, except against the Spirit Dancer. They might actually work against Spirit Dancer. So that's why I'm trying to be a little bit more cautious. Um, hmm. Yeah, poor Spirit Dancer. Rip Spirit Dancer. I think I'm already good on board, although I am only swinging for four. Okay, and then take two. Alright, let's see what I got. <laughs> if only I had a land. If only I had a land. Okay, maximum cuteness play. Not actually gonna do this though. Maximum cuteness play. Glade cover scout. Path my scout to get a land <laughs> for her unflinching courage. No. Let's not. Let's be reasonable. Hmm. Just four. That's all. Just four. First strike. And get that land. Mmm. Do I play the scout anyway? I mean, it's already a known quantity. The only cost is one life, but then I can save a life by blocking a token or something bigger. So I will, I will do that, actually. I'm not worried about getting quad bolted here. I maybe should be, with my luck. Yeah, it's a, it's a modern deck, so quad bolt. <laughs> but even if that were the case, this would deal the one, and then I'd take 12 anyway. So I don't know, maybe. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Itchy Nose. Shoutouts to Itchy Nose. No planes. Blood Moon, no planes. Um. Aren't there some. Oh. Yeah, just the Lingering Souls, right? And then some sideboard stuff. Huh. Just the. Okay, well, never mind then. Sup. Okay. <laughs> Dead cards. Be gone. 
I'm assuming that's targeting me. Oh no. I swear. I mean, no, you can't actually quad bolt me here. You don't have the mana. Oh crap, did I just... Okay, no, that's right. Oh, hi buddy. I think I will trade. Maybe that's not right. <laughs> tra la 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 tra la 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 tra la 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 tra la 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 okay okay enough of that yeah <laughs> yeah we we take those we take those okay easy sideboard in leyline absolutely liliana's coming in there's still going to be hand attack the hand attack is really good on the play now what do i take her out okay so it seems easy enough to me to say that Core Spirit Dancer is the worst card in the deck. Um, it feels like it. It definitely feels like it. There is an exception, though. Because I'm playing Bogles, and he knows I'm playing Bogles, he can actually side out removal. And so, Core Spirit Dancer might be easier to stick. But look at how many cards he can side in. Engineered Explosives. Mmm. Well, okay, let's count it. Anger of the Gods. In Staring Bridge. Liliana of the Veil. Wear Tear. So we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six tops. He still will have some uh, some spells in here. Let's see. What Dreadbore comes out. Terminate probably comes out. Um, Colgon's Command is slow, but I guess it's something. Maybe that comes out. And then you just leave your Fatal Push, which, you know, because you just need... You, you don't have the cards to bring in. Maybe Pithing Needle is better than Fatal Push. Uh, no, I don't know. Okay, so anyway, I still need to find some cards. So we're going to take two Spirit Dancers out. Just two. And... Path to Exile is really good against Reveler and Pyromancer. Um, it's really bad against Lingering Souls. And Hazaret, yeah, it can deal with Hazaret, so I'll keep Path in. And then I just have to take out the worst, uh, the worst ones that are left. So let's see, Spider Umbra. It's probably going to have to be Spider Umbra. Unflinching Courage is slow, but you can't lose once that one is stuck. No Gaddic Teague, no Kataki. Rest in Peace is cute. It deals with Lingering Souls and kind of Lingering, half of Lingering Souls. And it deals with Bedlam Reveler. And it deals with faith, Faithless Looting, but I think it's a little too cute. I don't want to water my deck down any more than I have to. Hello. Hello. Yeah, this is, this is actually a little slow, but we'll keep... Let's wait till I, I see a keep from him. Awesome Mr. J. So, Mr. J was the Joker, right? Mr. J. However that was. Ouch. Oof. Don't do it too much, man. Um. Scry time. Top. <laughs> oof. Oof. Okay, um I still see the life total at twenty. <laughs> oof. 
indeed. Well, sometimes this is just how it goes, unfortunately. Uh huh. I could lose to Ensnaring Bridge. I cannot beat Ensnaring Bridge here because of the way that I sideboarded. I think I would like to go Windswept Heath, Glade Cover Scout, sorry, <clears throat> my voice decided to give out, um, Windswept Heath, Forest, Glade Cover Scout, just in case there's a Blood Moon. Oh, other way, there we go. Touch pads. Touch pads, man. Oh, okay. Well, find a card. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Play the Glade cover. Pass the turn. It's it's what you do. I don't think the Blood Moon can come out. Uh, Blood Moon has, especially on the play, has the capacity to just shut me out if I don't play around it correctly. By the way, that Dryad Arbor turns into a Mountain Dryad. <laughs> It does, it just, it does. No, fo zero fox given. I now only have five sources of totem armor in the deck. That is a little bit concerning, to be honest. Ooh, okay, we have stuff. Maybe. <laughs> okay, we take those. We absolutely take those. I'm not familiar with any way that one mana like this can deal with a Glade Cover Scout in the format, so I'm just, it doesn't really matter what the order is. We're just gonna hope no Ensnaring Bridge. Ensnaring bridge off the top. <laughs> oh, I'm getting pinged. What is going on? Someone on Discord is trying to let me know. Uh huh. No idea. Where are you at? <laughs> where are you at? All right. He, yeah, he was trying to figure out where what I was up to earlier. Where I was. I was trying to get the camera to work. It was not working. Oh, by the way, that's a uh, five. Yeah, sometimes the, the Bogles math can be a little bit tricky if you're not the Bogles player. Um, and then we... 14? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> right, right. Enchantments, not auras. <laughs> yes, uh... Ethereal armor is awesome. <laughs> it is indeed insane. Alright, uh, and then I pass the turn. Hello. As soon as my computer lets me, anyway. Click. Wait. Kek. <laughs> LOL. Kek is LOL. I did it! No! Can I win from here? Let me see... Can I win? We are playing this out, by the way. We are playing this out. I have a ley line. Um, 
I am almost certain that every that both well actually let me check. So Thoughtseize can target you. Where is Thoughtseize? There you are. Target player. I okay, target player. Yep, okay, so I, I actually just lose. There's not a way I can win. Um it would take quite a few dead cards for that to be the case. A Saiyan never gives up. Is that how you spell Saiyan? Yep, that's how you spell Saiyan. A Saiyan never gives up. Rip. <laughs> Take that card draw. Well, you know, it's it's true. It's true. Um, how can I win at this point? Here, this is how. This is not actually how. This does not actually work. Why? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> ha. Can't argue with that, I guess. Um, past turn. I apologize to anyone who thought this would be a short video. Uh, so actually, yeah, how do I win? Um, so, it is possible because of Ensnaring Bridge and Young Pyromancer that he could just draw... Okay. Okay, you make a 1-1. One, one. Yep, there's your 1-1. One, one. That's, that's game now. Game three. Yeah. Scoop cards and sideboard. Let's see what we have. Okay, so what changes? What changes? The ley lines probably stay in. Um, I don't know if Seal of Primordium Let's see if there's anything else. Anything else I should be worried about. Blood Moon. Seal of Primordium hits Blood Moon, Ensnaring Bridge. That's it. I don't think that that's worth it. And so I'm not going to side it in. I'm just going to hope he doesn't get it. Granted, he can look through quite a few cards in his deck, but it's a one of. So I, I'm going to assume that I'll be okay. It's the hope, anyway. Um, I'm checking everything else just to make sure. Alright, we'll call it. And of course, I could just lose to myself. Speaking of, here's a one land hand, but it has ley lines that we keep. Keep. Okay, you, you keep as well. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. But we could just not draw... Well, I mean, it would be hard for us to not draw anything, but it's possible. I believe you. Alright. Ideally, we get another land. Extra ideally, <laughs> no. a one that makes uh, white mana, so that we can go Rancor, Spider Umbra, Daybreak Coronet. It was not fine. It was at this moment that he knew. He up. Oh, not ideal. Not ideal.
We'll make it work. Three. Cool. Uh-oh. This deck can indeed just lose to itself sometimes, so I do have to watch out for that. Okay. That's a thing. Please. Oh, you're breaking my heart. Don't go breaking my heart. Spider Umbra. This is not great. Okay. I mean, that's what you do. You can't block there. You would be trading a Pyromancer for a Spider Umbra, because this is a 4 2. Okay. Lands, please. <laughs> the good news is, if nothing else, if I draw a white land, immediately Daybreak Coronet. Colagons? Lingering Souls. Ooh. Oh no. I see three one ones, two which have flying. Big yikers. Instead of big yikes, gotta mix it up a little bit. Oh man, those tokens. The token <laughs> meta is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, it's my turn. Please, please. <laughs> Praise Richard Garfield. PhD. <laughs> PhD. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe indeed. Maybe not. <laughs> oh god. Jesus time. <laughs> yeah, that's Jesus. Look at that. Look at that art. That is stereotypical white Jesus. That is Passion of the Christ Jesus right there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. And then I, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bridge off the top. <laughs> if this were real life, you could just rip it off the top. <laughs> 43, okay. Bolt yourself for best concession. Yep, 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 I called it, I called it. I called it. <laughs> called it. GG's, <laughs> my man. GG's. <laughs> I love this game. I love this game. Pepe? Peep? Pepe. Peep is P-E-P. -E I know Evangeline is laughing if, she, if she's watching this, because anything that sounds like P, she is... That, that hell. That... yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, how do I reveal my hand? Um... Reveal. There we go. Oh, oy. That... stinks. My seven had both weird tear, but had no lands. No! What all did you sideboard? I brought in. I'm sorry, you're hearing this more slowly. Sorry about that. I brought in um, quad ley lines. I took. Out. I, that shouldn't be a comma, but whatever. Um, two core and two spider umbra. For EE, -E, Rabble, Wear Tear, Bridge, and Lily. Okay, so I was almost right. It was Rabble Master instead of Anger.
Rabble instead of anger was fine, I think. Um, I wonder why, though. I, I do wonder why. I do wonder why not anger on the play. To play. Hmm. Could have swapped push for anger, though. Yep, fair enough. Because, so, Anger of the Gods, yeah, it doesn't work on the Umbras, um, but if you're on the play, you're getting the three mana, and on that first turn, it is not terribly likely that I'll be able to get my creature out of range for Anger of the Gods. At the very least, it trades with an Umbra. Best case scenario, it's something like Rancor Ethereal Armor, and then the three damage beats my three toughness. Swapping Umbra triggers is stopping Umbra triggers. Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. Okay, let me look at the wording just to make sure. This may not work the way I think it works. Uh, if a creature dealt damage this way, would die this turn. Okay, okay, so they both have replacement if they would die effects. And because this exiles it, I think that wins out. Um, let me let me check just to make sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Hyena Umbra, if it would be destroyed, instead remove all damage from it and destroy this aura. Um... Would be destroyed by multiple... no? Uh... Let's see... No, maybe, maybe it does. Maybe it does. This does say if it would be destroyed. And... I guess that means that anger wins out? I think? Reporting my matches. GG's. Alright. GG's again. Oh, okay. Left. Well, at least I got that in right in time. Right in time. Alright, well, thanks for watching. So far, we're 2-0 in this handy little league, and maybe that'll stay going, hopefully. Crossing fingers, hidden dragon. I will see you later. Bye-bye.